Right, long time no see. Um, been outside doing all my uh, my jobs. Nice sunny weather. The weather's absolutely diabolical today, raining. Um, so I'm in. I'm gonna do some bacon. Uh, the other week I done some fudge, and this week I'm gonna do some very very easy chocolate fudge. And it is so easy. Uh, simple simple ingredients, and I'm gonna go through it with you. So yeah, a bit of chocolate fudge today. All right. Simple ingredients today, all we're doing is chocolate, some condensed milk, um, some vanilla essence, that's a flavouring, touch of salt, a little bit of golden syrup. Golden syrup can be um, used, yeah, as well, honey can be used instead if you haven't got it, but milk chocolate, where I've got some cheap crappy stuff. But I've also got a decent one with a good cocoa content. Now you're going to cook with chocolate. Always look for your cocoa content because that tells you how good the chocolate is. That's one seventy percent. You can get them 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Silly numbers like that. Obviously the darker it is, the bitter it is, but you really want a, a decent good bitter chocolate in there, as well as the little crappy ones as well. See this one will have some like stupid amount. Where is it? Thirty percent. And that one will be all well, 50%, 50% yeah, so that one's 70, so we're going to mix all them, um, I've got roughly 12, well 16 ounces there in total of chocolate, um, condensed milk, these little beauty like I said, put the cheesecakes with a bit of lemon juice and it sets, it's beautiful, I'll do all of them next week, but this, uh, this stuff is very similar to, um, they get evaporated milk. But the evaporated milk has no what you call sugar this one's sweetened with sugar so it's basically the same stuff without the sugar but i prefer to use the, the real stuff we've got a bit of salt like i always put me toffee me caramel me me fudge and like i said flavoring wise i've got a bit of vanilla so i've got again like i say a bit of jack daniels um baileys i'll have a look for some baileys later on but like i said, like I said baileys jack daniels tea maria whiskey even coffee, coffee granules, uh, however you want to flavour your fudge with. So we'll have a look around as I'm doing it and see where I can shot in. So right, let's get cracking. So here we have it, I've got a bit of vanilla, just a teaspoon. Look at that, some of Mel's uh, Irish Meadow. Cut the gloves of that, a bit of flavour. Use whatever you can afford to use. A good tablespoon golden syrup or honey and then this little beauty condensed milk I'll scrape that tin out as soon as I put the phone down and then all we want now is a, a little sprinkle of sea salt and that's it simple ingredients so that's one tin a bit of that a bit of that a bit of that and a bit of salt now we have to stir that heat it up gently slowly the chocolate I've crushed down, the smaller the better. I've just snapped them in little chunks, but the smaller um, the quicker it melts. So we're going to stir that continuously on a low heat. And it's boring, it stops you from burning on the bottom. So we'll just stir that until it's done, and we'll go from there. See, it's starting to melt now. It'll go nice and shiny. We don't want that shine. Go nice and shiny, keep it up, keep staring all the time. Don't let it bomb bend on the bottom. Got some of the fudge on the way there. I've got a chicken stock on the way there, so I've got two quiches in the ovens. So I'll go today. So yep, yeah, keep staring. Also, I'm gonna put me now, I've got some chopped nuts there. I just got a bag of nuts from uh, from Aldi's little. And I just chopped them up. That'll go on me chocolate one this time. Uh, Optional, but yeah, keep staring, stare, 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 stare. It's starting to slowly bubble now, that's about 80 degrees. That's on my thermometer, it's about 80 degrees that. And it's starting to heat up nicely. It's little bubbles, just be careful, keep, as I said, keep staring all the time. Because now it's a danger zone, alright? So 15 minutes in total, I've got about 3 minutes to go. 
So I'll just keep staring. 15 minutes should about do it until it starts bubbling like this. All right, reach about 85, 88, and bubbling nicely. I've taken it off now, that's be 15 minutes up. And I'll take it off, put it on a cloth because it will be hot. Continue to stare. It'll start to change colour slightly, go a bit dull because it's cooling down, it'll get a bit thicker. And I want to whack my nuts in. Like I say, you don't have to put nuts in. Whatever you want in. Bits of uh, raisin, fruit, whatever you like. Never turn get on. That's it, it's going to be like a nutty bar. So, keep staying until it's cooled down. And then we've got a greased casserole dish. And we're going to whack into there, make sure it's greased and greased both papers so and stick. Into there, that is set. When it cools down, we can put it in the fridge to make it set. It'll take about three hours. So the longer you leave it, the better. And we'll go from there. And there we go. Into the tray. Let it cool down now. It'll settle its own. It'll settle its own level. So we're nice and cold. And that'll be ready to chop later on. Right. Next our other caramel. Right, a couple of hours in the, in the fridge. It's set nice and solid. Turn upside down. I've got a bowl of water. A knife in, white warm water, and a container put into. Right, let's get chopping. Right, knife, warm knife, dry it off. Just cut. Nice little square, nice little rectangles. Just try and keep your knife nice and warm. And so you can cut these nice and neat, and use them like say wedding canapes. Put them in a box. Uh, Nana's present. I just let the kids destroy you like that. Just melt pretty quick. Be careful. Stuck it. Just cut. Chocolate truffles, chocolate fudge, whoops, with the nuts and some baileys. Can I call them? One of me. Super. I'll take this chicken knife. Warm. And dry. It'll cut nice and easy. That's it, job done. Hi guys, if you enjoyed the videos and like what you're seeing, um, do me a favour, see that YouTube button down there, that subscribe button. Just give it a, just give it a press, because the more subscriptions I get, the more I can do, the more I can keep helping you. I enjoy doing these. So, hit the like button, one of that one, just give it a click, and hit that one there. And let's keep cooking and let's stay safe. Okay? Rock on.